Now, sa video ito, ang sagutan natin ay itong post ni Sir Chris Rigo, or Rigo siguro ang pagka-pronounce dito, dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All, FB Group ito. And let's read the problem. A math teacher can grade 25 test papers in 30 minutes. That means 50 test papers in an hour. She usually takes 10 minute rest grading 40 test papers. So every 40 test papers na i-check niya, mag-rest siya ng 10 minutes. The question is, at this rate, how many minutes will she take to grade 120 test papers? Doon muna tayo sa shortcut. 25 test paper in 30 minutes. That means 5 test papers in 6 minutes. 120, i-multiply mo yan sa 6 over 5, tapos plus 20, and that is equals to 164 minutes. Yan na yung sagot. Pero sa choices, wala mang 164 minutes. Imbis na ang tanong sana is at this rate, how many, how many minutes? So, minutes sana yung choices. But anyway, mayroon tayong hours sa so 164 minutes. Mag-minus tayo ng 120 minutes. Itong 120 minutes, that means that is equals to 2 hours. 164 minus 120 minutes, that is equals to 44 minutes. Therefore, ang sagot ay 2 hours and 44 minutes, which is itong letter D. At para maintindihan itong shortcut natin, isa-isahin natin. Doon muna tayo sa, she usually takes 10 minute rest. Sa grading na 40 test papers. So, kada 40, mag siya in between ng 10 minutes. Another 40, mag siya in between ng 10 minutes. Another 40, hindi na siya mag kasi tapos na niya yung 120 test papers. So, itong 10 minutes, dalawang 10 minutes na to, ito yung plus 20 dyan. Ngayon, doon naman tayo sa speed. Ang speed ay, sulat natin yung speed, ay equals to yung distance over time. No need na i-memorize yung formula. Yung speed dito ay yung 25. Yan yung 25 test paper. Over yung time, which is yung 30 minutes. So, 25 over 30, yan yung speed. So, 25 over 30, ilist natin yan by finding the greatest common factor, which is 5. 25 divided by 5 is equals to 5. 30 divided by 5 is equals to 6. So, ang speed ay 5 over 6. 5 test per 6 minutes. Ang hanapin natin dito ay yung time. Since si time pang divide sa distance, pang multiply na ngayon siya sa speed. Now, si time naman, pang multiply natin siya sa speed. Si time lang ang hinahanap natin. Since si time pang multiply sa speed, pang divide naman ngayon siya sa distance. So, therefore, time is equals to distance divided by speed. Yung distance natin ay 120. Yan yung test papers. Yan yung tatapusin. Over. Yung speed ay 5 over 6. So therefore, 120 divided by 5 over 6. Para klaro, i-delete muna natin ito. So, 120 divided by 5 over 6. Ang 120, kopyahin lang, ang division maging multiplication at reciprocal ni 5 over 6 ay 6 over 5. Kaya itong 120 times 6 over 5, ito na yon. 120 times 6 over 5. At ang sagot dito, pwede mang iganyan ni mo. 120 divided by 5, that is 24. 24 times 6 is equals to 144. 
So, itong 144, mag-add tayo sa 20, and that is equals to 164 minutes. At itong 164 minutes, i-convert na la, muna lang yan basis sa nasa sa choices, which is yung 2 hours and 44 minutes. Now, another way of solving this, kung sakaling nalilito kayo dito, so, isa pang pag, pa, paraan sa pag-solve nito. Tawagin natin itong Kanto style method of solving. Kanto style ang itawag natin dito kasi kahit hindi mo alam yung formula, kahit wala kang alam talaga, pero intindihin mo lang yung given, masasagot at masasagot mo yung tanong. ba ang lahat ng i-grade niya ay a total of 120 test papers. Yan yung total. Tapos sa given ay she usually takes 10 minute rest kada 40, pa 40 test papers. So meron na tayong 20 minutes dyan. Ito yung klarong pag-illustrate dyan. Ngayon, ang speed niya ay 25 kada 30 minutes. I-rewrite lang natin. 25 test papers in 30 minutes. So, kada 30 minutes, meron siyang matapos na 25 test paper. Ibig sabihin, sa isang oras ay makatapos siya ng 50 test papers. Nag-gets nyo ba banda dito? In 30 minutes, makatapos siya ng 25. Another 30 minutes, total niya ay 1 hour na. So, another 25. So, 25 plus 25 is equals to 50. So, therefore, in 1 hour, maka 50 test paper na siya. Ang total, 120. Ang 120, may dalawang 50 yan. Therefore, kung dalawang 50, that is equals to 100 test papers in 2 hours. Kasi after 2 hours, madubli din itong test paper. So, therefore, after 2 hours, nakatapos na siya ng 100 test papers. Yung 20 na lang ang natira. So, eliminate na natin itong si B at saka si C kasi ang nakasulat dyan ay 3 hours. Ang sagot dito ay 2 hours, mahigit. Now, doon tayo sa 20 test kasi yan na lang talaga ang natitira. Ang speed again ay 25 test papers every 30 minutes. Ibig sabihin, sa kada 6 na minuto, 5 test paper ang matatapos niya. 20. So, i-multiply natin ng 4 para maging 20. Kung nag-multiply ka ng 4 dyan, mag-multiply ka rin ng 4 dito sa baba. And that is equals to 24. Therefore, 20 test paper ang matatapos mo within 24 minutes. So, itong 24 minutes, i-add mo sa 2 hours. So, that will be 2 hours and 24 minutes at wag mong kalimutan yung te tag 10 minutes na rest mo a total of another 20 minutes so i-add mo yung 20 minutes and that is equals to 24 plus 20 is equals to 44 minutes so ang sagot ay 2 hours and 44 minutes kaya letter D. Thank you for watching and God bless.